I suppose something we haven't brought out is that there's significant new employment opportunities uh, with with the green energy transition. Um, what do you think about that? I think that's a great opportunity, really, because what that does that that it all brings a number of things together, doesn't it? Because you're able then to deliver new careers to yeah. people. So I know you believe there's about between six hundred and a thousand jobs possibly in this area. But you know, that, that's people who can retrain. Yeah. So that's many uh, tradesmen, you know, professional services, all these can actually yeah. retrain in a new area that is going to go on for a long time because this this first part, you know, trying to get to twenty fifty with the with yeah. the net zero, you know, that that's great. But this is going to go on with, isn't yeah. it? And so people are going to retrain and it'll be great. We can attract new people to the island yeah. as well, new businesses, yeah. new people to the island and retrain. I yeah. think it's brilliant. Yeah, and of course, there's there's the people in the traditional, particularly oil and gas related jobs um, that are probably worried about their jobs. But I, I think you know it's 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 turn it around a little bit and say actually here is an you know this is something new. This is going to um, provide you with training, but actually you're going to be interested in this these these new opportunities. You know, of course, we 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 appreciate that. Um, uh, the internal combustion engine will will be phased out, but of course that means that um, either vehicles will have to be converted to to electric or hydrogen fuel cells, or uh, you know there's we'll, we'll, there'll be new um, vehicle types coming to Aleph Man, um, and of course even on the civil engineering side of, of things, you know if we're talking about pumped hydro storage, those are major projects, and uh, you know. Uh, There'll be expertise that will be built on the Isle of Man that can then be used elsewhere in the world. The great thing about that, though, is while it's a new energy system that you're putting forward, the key elements are all tried and tested. Yes, you know the, 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 the width, shelf exactly. Yeah. yeah, that pumped hydro idea. Yeah. You know that, yeah. that's been used for you know years and yeah, years. Yeah, well, Norway. That's how they got electric basically yeah. it's all based on on hydro but um yeah I, I suppose we're thinking up some some new ways of of, of utilizing that technology um but uh yeah you know it's high tech uh, as well as basic um industries as well you know as much as you know how you're going to change um homes to be more efficient or what heating is going to be used as if we're providing um low carbon but also cheaper electricity in the future then and, and of course oil and gas boilers are going to go away um then it's thinking what well, what's the best way of heating a manx home and actually if you've got surplus energy then it offers so many different ways of of keeping homes warm and dry but of course um the professionals have to be trained up to to install the yes what i see is is the new tech is going to be the, the way we control the energy. Yeah, that's true. So it's control systems in the home, yeah. it's been able to refine how much you use, yeah. really focus on it being an efficient system. Indeed. So having that free energy, if you like, or yeah. that low cost energy that we're able to um, store or, or generate yeah. from wind, that really should take away a lot of the fear I think that people yeah. have got by having that low cost energy, but having the high tech control yeah. systems that can either have the MUA selling you energy yeah. or, or taking some back from your storage system, all these are great yeah. opportunities. Because in the old days, you know, off-peak was at night when, yeah. you know, when the, the coal-fired power stations were producing and people didn't need it. But now it's when the wind's blowing and people don't need it, that, that's off-peak. And, and again, you can gear up to that, um, either on the large scale, which is the hydro storage, or also at homes, you know, there are different ways of storing power, whether it's heat or... Um, you know, as energy in, in batteries or other forms. So, um, and the other part, I guess, is the insulation and, and ventilation part of, of the equation. Again, that, that is a whole industry. And then um, construction industry, that, you know, the standard way of building a house in the Isle of Man will change. Um, so, but again, all these things have been available for decades, really. Oh, yeah. The Scandinavians yeah, yeah. have been building houses. Yeah. You know, very yeah. thermally insulated. Well, exactly, yeah. and again, yeah, you could have a timber industry, but you, I think what we try and do, for instance, at the Energy and Sustainability Centre, is bring people over to train. Once we we have the vision, if if you know we we can see that the, there's going to be electricity available, say in two thousand and thirty three, 
we can bring people in that start to build the you know the the heating systems that are needed in the Isle of Man. But I think what you do is train uh, local professionals to be able to do that rather yeah. than than using people from abroad, uh, you know, from the UK or Ireland. As you say, ch cheap electricity in in two thousand and thirty. So that's what we're driving at. Is trying to get it so the energy is not going to be expensive, but it's actually going to be affordable or even cheap. And I think that is honestly the main. Well, the main objective is is lowering emissions. Mm. But I think you can have uh, cheaper electricity at the same time, and and you know why is because wind and sun are essentially free energy uh, resources, and, and nowadays, luckily, um, as you say, to to utilise those energies, uh, the um, technologies have developed to the point that actually, in most cases, it's cheaper to produce electricity from from wind or solar. The one issue is that intermittency, and so being able to store the power and then, then use it when you need it. Um, it, it it's cheaper and makes obviously um, sense from a global perspective no longer to be using fossil fuels but to use you know these natural forms of, of energy.